Let's dive into the heart of the 2024 Bermuda Grand Prix. Watch Jaden Hibbert leap into history, Stacey Ann Williams dazzle in the 400 meters, Jareem Richards conquer the 200 meters, Shean Salmon hurdles to victory, and Kirani James dominate the 400 meters. Don't miss the full recap and electric atmosphere from Flora Duffy Stadium. Don't miss a moment of the 2024 Caribbean track and field season and the Paris Summer Olympics. Hit like and subscribe now to stay updated with all the action, highlights, and breathtaking performances from the Caribbean. The Bermuda Grand Prix is one of the meets that many track and field fans like watching because of the diverse number of athletes who often compete. Former American 800-meter runner Hazel Clark conceptualized the meet with the intention of not only carrying more athletes to the Caribbean island of Bermuda, but also acting as a mechanism for tourism. Despite the meet being usually windy, most athletes often look forward to competing because of the fans at the Flora Duffy Stadium. For the first time at the meet, all of the performances were wind-aided, which means that they will not be counted for record purposes. However, our Caribbean athletes were able to deliver strong performances as they continued their performances toward the Paris Olympics. 2022 Cali World Triple Jump Champion Jaden Hibbert of Jamaica was able to make his professional debut at the meet in the Triple Jump. I want to recognize on this road to Paris, he was the winner of last year's Bowerman Award, which is kind of the equivalent of the Heisman Trophy for college track and field, as he took the early lead in this event. As a freshman, he won both the NCAA indoor and outdoor triple jump titles last year. Hibbert was able to jump 17.33 meters to lead home a Caribbean clean sweep. Bermuda's Janai Perrin Chief was second with a leap of 17.13 meters, and Jaden Hibbert's countryman Jordan Scott was third, cutting the sand at 17.05 meters. Kaiwan Plumer of the Bahamas finished fifth with 16.50 meters. 2023 Budapest World Championship 4x400 meters relay silver medalist Jamaican Shean Salmon was able to run 56.59 seconds in her specialty, the 400 meter hurdles, to take the win. Her Caribbean counterpart Yannick Hayes-Smith of Turks and Caicos was 4th with 58.18 seconds and Jamaica's Yannick Walker finished 7th with 1 minute 1.06 seconds. Puerto Rico's Aziza Ayub ran 2 minutes 9.60 seconds and finished 7th in the 800 meters. Tamari Davis of the United States ran a commanding race in the 100 meters, crossing the line in 11.04 seconds to take the win. Jamaica's Alana Reed ran 11.29 seconds to place third, and her countrywoman Kemba Nelson ran 11.30 seconds to place fifth. In the men's 200 meter, double Commonwealth Games champion Jareem Richards of Trinidad and Tobago ran 20.39 seconds with a late surge at the end to hold off Matthew Boiling of the United States to take the win. Ail Buntin of St. Kitts and Nevis was eighth with 20.93 seconds, ruling out the Caribbean placings. Yannick Thompson of Jamaica ran 12.86 seconds to finish third in the 100-meter hurdles. The event was won by Amber Hughes of the United States with 12.57 seconds. Shanice Porter of Jamaica cut the sand at 6.62 meters to finish second in the long jump behind recently crowned World Indoor Championship silver medalist Monet Nichols of the United States, who leaped 6.91 meters to take the Tisana Hickling of Jamaica was 5th at 6.33 meters, and Puerto Rico's Elizabeth Felix was 7th with 5.88 meters. Double World Championship 4x400 meters relay silver medalist Stacey Ann Williams of Jamaica ran a pretty comfortable race to win the 400 meters with 51.71 seconds, just one second off her season's best of 50.71 seconds done at the Tom Jones Memorial. Puerto Rico's Gabby Scott was 4th with 53.57 seconds. Janelle Bromfield of Jamaica ran 54.09 seconds to place fifth, and her countrywoman double world championship 400 meters hurdles bronze medalist Rochelle Clayton ran 54.48 seconds to finish seventh. Multiple world and Olympic 400 meter champion Kirani James of Grenada ran 46.00 seconds to lead home a Caribbean clean sweep in the event. Here's Alonzo Edwards of the Bahamas was second with 47.05 seconds, and Demish Gay of Jamaica was third with 47.15 seconds. Trinidad and Tobago's Asa Guevara was fifth with 47.50 seconds. Jamaica's Ashanti Moore was the only Caribbean entrant in the women's 200 meters, and she ran 23.12 seconds to place third. The race was won by Abby Steiner of the United States, who ran 22.71 seconds. 
To end the meet for the Caribbean, Kadrian Golson of Jamaica ran 10.16 seconds to place 6 in the 100 meters, Sajay Green of Antigua was 7th with 10.24 seconds, and Nadal Buntin of St. Kitts and Nevis was 8th with 10.46 seconds. The race was won by Triple Budapest World Championship gold medalist Noah Lyons of the United States, who ran 9.96 seconds. Despite the squirreling wins, the athletes delivered, and they should improve as the season progresses. What did you think of Jaden Hibbert's record-setting debut and the Caribbean athlete's performance at this windy Bermuda Grand Prix? Which athlete's performance inspired you the most and why? Share your thoughts and join the discussion in the comments below. We love hearing from you and can't wait to see what you think. As we gear up for the 2024 Paris Olympics, make sure you're in the loop with everything about Caribbean athletes. If you found this video helpful, please share it, hit like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. We are your one stop for all updates and highlights. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. This is Caribbean Focus Sports.